This year we're going to, we've expanded, last year we had eight food vendors, this year we have 18, um, which include four food trucks, which we didn't have last year. Wow. Yeah, so, and we're expanding our uh, beverage options, and uh, so it's going to be great. So more yeah. suds? More suds, different kind, more different. So we have Smart Mouth, we have O'Connor Brewery, we have Bold Mariner, all coming in as our craft breweries. And then we have some lovely wines that are going to be, um, that we're going to uh, get um, from a wonderful partnership with Ghent Seafood and the Roanoke Valley, Valley um, Wine Distributor. All right. Now, I'm also smelling these flowers as you're speaking, and they're a major distraction because they smell gorgeous. But did, these, this is representing the garden? I'm not going to ask where you sure. got them from. <laughs> sure. Well, they represent the buds part. The of buds the, part. Yes, exactly. So that's the buds part of the suds and buds. See, I was so focused on the suds that I kind of <laughs> forgot all about the buds. Sally, let me ask you, because fundraising, I mean, we started off with a fundraiser that we've already talked about. And fundraising is tough in this town now. And so you're kind of giving it an extra little twist, aren't you? Well, we're doing it and just putting the fun back in fundraising mm -hmm. because it is a, a, a just an enjoyable Friday evening after work event. And the BUDS also stands for your BUDS like your buddies. And oh. so the other yes. kind of BUDS. I thought I was good on double entendre. Yeah. That's, well, okay. Okay. This one has several double entendres. Budweiser uh, was another one I was thinking of, but you're using craft beer We instead. are using mm -hmm. local okay. craft beer. That's awesome. Beer. And um, so an, another twist on it is just that collaborative effort. It's not just the Rotary Club, uh, which does support numerous charities mm -hmm. in our area. We just awarded grants to about 25 different nonprofits in our area, but, it, but we're doing it in partnership with the Garden and also with Prime Plus. So we will split the proceeds among our three groups and um, then our Rotary Club will use ours to give out to even more awesome. nonprofits. May 13th at the Garden. May 13th. Is mm -hmm. when you'll be doing responsible beverage consumption. Right, because mm -hmm. your ticket, your $35 ticket gets you two drink tickets, but all the food and oh. Lewis McGee is going to play. All right. He's going to be our entertainment. So it sounds like fun. And I'm, we're seeing some pictures and it, it looks like it was a whole lot of fun this year. It was. It sold out last year in advance. But you're not going to sell it out this year. You're going to let it grow, right? We're going to, we're going to do, uh, con I don't want to say con controlled growth because Part of it is that we want to make sure that as we grow, our visitors or our um, customers have still have a great experience. Right, because some things so, get too big. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're providing that great experience. Well, I mm -hmm. asked you earlier, Doctor, but the, the, what this meant to Prime Plus, but financially it, it's significant, isn't it? Yes, it is, because it's a way of sharing your fundraising when you're working in, with three organizations together. The opportunity to you know have fun and contribute and I think this is giving us more visibility not everybody knows the good work that Prime Plus does so not only are we having the opportunity to raise money we're increasing our visibility that's right and I think we've been running your web page too yes. so people can go learn more about Prime Plus yeah it's a great organization it's, it, yeah because so often we think of our seniors okay let's send them over to yeah. the center but I mean Let's send them over to the center and do yoga. No weightlifting like we saw. In the <laughs> but, you know, the yoga yeah. and, and yeah. dance. And there's all mm -hmm. kinds of cool stuff that goes on. There's a lot of preventative uh, measures and activities that happen at the uh, center. And I think that's really what you want to look at is that there's part of it that are the activities that are made to and designed to help enhance people's lives that are people 50 and over. And it keeps them well. And then there's day programs for those people that have chronic ailments and it maybe keeps them out of uh, hospitals and nursing care homes and it supports their caregivers mm -hmm. and their families. It's, it's worth really having big. a beer over. Yes. At the garden on yes. May 13th. What time is it going to be? Six o'clock. Until? Ten. 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 Sure. Even. Really? You're going to stick to that 10? <laughs> you can stay longer. <laughs> so. And you can help clean up. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Well, it's a uh, it's so cool, and I want to have you guys on to talk about that 102 years sure. in Rotary later on because yeah. I I made it. One thing I've noticed that for the Rotaries that are watching, because you're going to make them watch this, right? Yes. You're all three have your pins on. We do. We do. Proudly, so we have our pins. So you're yes. cool. Thanks a lot for everything that right. you're doing to yeah. to help out Prime Plus, the Garden, and of course 
a lot of residents in the city of Norfolk for the work that you do year long. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank hey, you. we want to hear from you what you'd like to see on TV48, but more importantly, what's going on in your neighborhood? Give us a holler at 665-664-6510. And as usual, as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk just because of you and you and you and you. Thank you.